The video hasn't even started and I've already cheated. And my light is on. <laughs> That's the first time I've spoken out loud today and now I realize how sick I sound. Um, I've just got like a really sore throat and like a block nose and stuff. <laughs> so annoying. Um, so basically, I've done my brows off camera and I'm so sorry. Oh, I haven't even said what video we're doing. We're doing a full face of makeup revolution. I'm all over the place. Um, <laughs> I have done my brows using the Anastasia Dip Brow, but I did carve them out with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define and I haven't added any brow gel or anything um, because I don't have any Makeup Revolution one. I tried to use this and this is my second time trying to use this. I have tried with this, but this is just impossible. This is the Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade in Ebony and I don't normally hate products, but I hate this. <laughs> Let me try and see if I can demonstrate. Okay, so like, if we go into my Anastasia. Okay, so if we just, you know, here's my Anastasia, let's just swipe. And then, here we go. That's what we get. So now I just need to wipe that off. So if we go into my Makeup Revolution and swipe. Oh, it doesn't actually look that bad on here. <laughs> but this is just the hardest brow gel. Like this stuff is like rock hard and it just is so, so hard to use. Like it just grips to your brow hairs and pretty much like rips them out. Like I just find this absolutely possible to use and it looks really creamy here, but on my brow it like was so crusty and just would not work and I just don't understand what the go is but I'm no joke I'm about to chuck this in the bin because I'm never ever 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 going to try and put myself through that again <laughs> if you use that brow pomade please tell me how you make it work like I just don't get it anyway we're moving on to the rest of the face now I'm really excited for this video actually I've got a few products in here that I've never tried before so I'm excited to see how they work out um, I'm just looking for an eye primer because I did buy one Okay, so for eye primer today, I'm using the Revolution Focus and Fix Eye Primer. Um, it doesn't say anything about it, but it just comes in this packaging. It's really cool. Um, and then the doe foot just looks like that. Um, it just seems, it kind of reminds me a little bit, um, I don't know, it's kind of like the Fenty one, I guess. Um, I have never used this before. So I'm just gonna put a bit of it on. And we will blend it out. It's a nice colour. I don't know how this would work on someone with a deeper skin tone. I don't know how, I mean, if they have other shades or not, but if not, they need to fix that. <laughs> okay, so I'm just blending that out with my sponge. This is what I like to do with all of the eye primers I use. I feel like it gets a nice, like, thin, evenly distributed layer. I'm annoying myself when I'm talking because of my voice. Mm. Hate it. Okay, so that feels pretty tacky. Um, it feels quite nice, so I guess we'll just see how shadows perform on it. Um, I'm using the Soph and Makeup Revolution Extra Spice palette today, and I know how that works. I know that that usually blends really well. I've got lots of pigment and stuff, so we'll be able to see how the um, eye primer performs. So, here it is, the Soph X Makeup Revolution Extra Spice. This is a really, really pretty palette. I just really like the shades in here. I think it's super cool. So. I haven't used this for the longest time, so yeah, it's always good to, to try it again. I don't know what to do today, kind of. I'm gonna use some of my new BH Cosmetics brushes because I have no clean ones. Mm -hmm. Someone remind me today to clean my brushes. It's a good thing, you run out of brushes, you just buy more. I get that they kind of individually wrap them for um, like hygiene, but damn, that's a waste of plastic. Like, damn, I don't care about hygiene. No. That's a joke, I do, but I feel like I would so much rather them, like, they're already coming in a box, like, the box is sealed and stuff, I feel like no one's gonna get in there. And I know it's, like, to protect, um, the shapes of them and stuff, but I would so much prefer that they come without all that plastic on them. So, the first colour I'm gonna dip into, oh, let me bring it closer first, actually. Okay, is that close enough? Yeah, that should be right. First colour I'm going to go into is this one here, it's called 21. 
I get it! Because Sophie was 21 when this part released, duh. Okay, that's cool. I think anyway, because she's like 22 now and I'm pretty sure the palette came out like last year. Um, so yeah, I'm just taking a small amount of this and just popping it in the crease. This is a nice shade. I feel like the eye primer is performing quite nicely. Like it, it seems very smoothing, so it's kind of like easy to work my brush around if that makes sense. So you can see, very pigmented shadow. I'm just going, doing the same over the other side. These BH Cosmetics brushes are nice too. I don't know if I have these set, but they feel like heavy. Like, not in a bad way, like in a good kind of, like they feel a little bit weighty. Which is good, I feel like weighty always seems better. I don't know why, like, you know like when something feels like super light, you kind of think it's a little bit gimmicky. <laughs> weird the eye primer almost feels like a little bit balmy kind of like it's got a grip but it also is like like smooth if that makes sense okay i'm just going to take a bit of a bigger brush now and just blend those edges oh this brush is nice so i'm really just diffusing the edges i was gonna add another color but i think i might just leave it with this one shade like normally I add a kind of other colour to soften the edge, but I feel like I might just diffuse the edge of this shade and leave it. Um, I don't know if I said what this brush set was called, but it's the Smoky Eye Essential 7 Piece Brush Set by BH Cosmetics Fellow. I'm going to go back in with that first brush we use now and just add a little bit more of the 21 shade in the crease to like um, re-emphasise the colour. Isn't it weird how this is the same shade and it looks so like different just from blending? So cool the things you can do with makeup. I'm just taking that shade again, that brush sorry, again and just making sure it all blends together. You don't want any harsh lines around you. Um, the next colour I'm going to take is going to take this purple and it's called mold wine um, and I'm just putting that in the outer corner about a third of the way over the eye I'm also going to do a cut crease but yeah I just wanted this little bit of a darker shade in there this is a really really nice shade to be honest Okay, so I'll obviously clean this up before we do lashes and everything, but anyway, this is how it's looking for now. I want to take the Makeup Revolution Concealer, but it's going to be too dark to cut the crease, so I'm just going to take the Colourpop one. I'm so sorry, I feel bad for cheating, but like, it just isn't going to work with the Makeup Revolution one. So I'm going to just bring it into that mold wine shade. Okay, so then we have something like that. So let me just go off camera and do the other one, and then I'll be back. As soon as I went off camera, I almost blinded myself because like I went to put the concealer on my eye and I fully like shoved it in my eyeball and now I can hardly see and if I lose my sight I'm gonna be pissed I don't normally swear but I will be <laughs> I'll be very upset because I lost my sight okay so this is how the cut creases look and originally I was going to go into uh, this shade here but now I'm like mm, I kind of want to go into this kind of goldy shade okay I've got an idea. First, I'm going to go into this shade here and it's called Dreams. So, ooh, that's really, really pretty. That is a super, super pretty shade. I'm going to add a bit of um, setting spray because I want it to be even um, prettier. Huh, I don't know. Oh wow, that's like amazing. I love Makeup Revolution shimmers. 
This is just such a pretty shade. So I'm going to leave the tiniest little bit of my inner corner. Oh, because I'm going to add a different shade on. But that's how that looks. That's stunning. Don't worry, we're going to blend it as well. So don't stress. It's not going to be like this big line. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to go into this really, really pretty like champagne-y kind of shade there. Uh, actually, I don't think it is like champagne. It's like, I don't know. It's just like the perfect inner corner colour though. And I'm just going to put that where we left that little spot and into the inner corner. Oh, beautiful. I love it. I'm going to blend it into the gold so it doesn't look so crazy. I think these eyes just had it today. It's like, stop putting things on me. Like, and there's this huge bit of concealer that's stuck in there and I just cannot get it out. Oh, it's so gross. Okay, now I'm just going to go back into the mold wine shade. I'm going to blend the gold and that purple together. This looks cute, I think. Like, it's pretty simple. It's nothing like crazy, but I think it looks nice. Now I'm just going with micellar water. Um, I'm just going to clean up the edges of my eye. Makeup Revolution needs to come out with like false eyelashes. That'd be cool. And Curl Pop. Both of them. We need more good cheap eyelashes. Okay. Now I have the Makeup Revolution liner, but I just don't know if I want to do liner or not. I feel like it would, it would make it look nice, right? Or should I just leave it? Help! I really have no idea. Uh, let's just do it for the sake of the video. Let's try some more products. So this is the Liner Revolution. Looks like this. Um, and yeah, it's just a eyeliner, believe it or not. Okay. This swatched to like really nice and black and then this is going on the eye like not this is why i don't like felt tips because you have to push so hard to use them um but then that makes the eye look not neat so What the hell? I don't know if you can see, but this is like, this is pretty terrible liner. Like that is not even, okay. I'm gonna cheat again. I cannot use that. That's so bad. Like, it's not that bad. Like, it squirts out, like, the ink, like, down here, and then it doesn't reach the tip. Like, so, you know, if I push this really hard on my hand, it looks like it does something. But then if you just use the tip, like, that is all that comes out. Like, and I'm, like, pushing it on my eye, and it's just not doing anything. So, I'm sorry. That is a pass. I'm just going to go in with my Tarte kitten liner this one is also a felt tip but if you just see like that's just using the tip and see how much more pigment it is i don't know that's this is just working a lot better I just really prefer brush tip a lot more. Anyway, that's one eye done. So I'm just going to go off camera and finish the other eye. Don't know why I sung that. Okay, so I've done the liner now. How it looks. Yeah, I'm so sorry that I had to go on with that tart one, but it's just like, I didn't want to like ruin the look. You know? But anyway. 
for mascara now I'm taking the mascara revolution I actually should hold it this way so you can so it just comes in this gold packaging and I tried this the other day well I've I've tried it before the other day but I tried it again the other day and I really actually quite like this mascara I, it's just a very nice also it's very thick as well reminds me a lot of my Too Faced Burn and Sex so this is how my lashes are looking it'd be pretty hard to see them because of the liner but anyway what I'm going to do now is go off camera put some fake lashes on and then I'll come back and we can do the face I feel like my eye is so sore from like where I got that concealer in it but I don't know if I'm just like freaking myself out Anyway, I have my lashes on now, as you can probably tell. Um, I just used the Dodo lashes in the style D119. So let's get started on the face. I'm just gonna clean up so we don't have like red on our face. So I have never tried this primer before, but this is the Star Primer Water Gel Primer with aniseed extract. I thought it's aniseed. Anyway. Um, so it says soft focus primer hydrating water gel formula for a restored and perfected complexion looks like this it's blue it's really cool let's pop it on oh wow it comes out blue too and yes it smells like licorice which I love licorice but I don't know if I want licorice on my face it kind of reminds me of like I don't mind doing like Bongella cream, you know, the stuff you um, like use on babies when they're teething. But anyway, it's very like, I feel like super like cool. <laughs> like it's cooling and it's refreshing. Like I'm like, when, you know when you get like when you do a mask and then your face goes all like cold after it. Like it's very refreshing and it's a little bit tacky, which is nice because obviously we want our foundation to stick. I'm just going to wet my beauty sponge. So for foundation today, I'm actually going to take the Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. Mine is in the shade F6.5. Let's do one side of the face today. And see just how full coverage this baby really is. I feel like it's a little bit too light. If I do repurchase, I will repurchase it in a bit of a darker colour. I thought I was getting a darker shade, but apparently not. Oh, so it is actually a very nice coverage. I have done a like a full video on just this foundation. Yeah, it's nice. I don't know if I would call it full coverage though. Like, I mean, it's a little bit hard because I feel like, you know, it's hard for such light foundations to be full coverage. And obviously I am quite pale because, you know, I have things on my face like freckles and um you know i have small red spots and all that kind of stuff and it, like it'd be like trying to you know with my freckles they're like a, like a brown color it'd be hard to put something that's very light over a brown color and have it cover it if you know what i mean um so i feel like the darker shade you would have more full coverage it would be and i should repurchase this in a little bit of a darker shade you know because obviously if i have something that is a little bit darker than my natural skin color it's obviously going to cover things a lot easier it is a bit it's a nice coverage I just don't know how if i would say it's full coverage and i'm definitely glad that i have a hydrating primer under this because i feel like it's a little bit um the drier foundation it's a little bit more matte um but they actually are bringing out a conceal and hydrate foundation which is awesome um and i think are they also bringing out a conceal and hydrate concealer as well i think um which is cool so they're obviously bringing out like a hydrating version which is awesome so yeah anyway this is how my face looks um it will look a lot nicer when we have like other things to warm up the skin because obviously right now it's looking a little bit scary <laughs> and now i have this issue where i can't use my concealer because it's actually darker than my foundation Anyway, this is the Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer. Mine is in the shade C5 and like, it is so much darker. What the hell? Anyway, put in a little bit under my eyes. I'm gonna have very tan eyelids, like under eyes. 
I really like this concealer but it blends very nicely. I feel like the coverage on it is quite good. But yeah, obviously like you know my under eyes like it's obviously concealers are kind of meant to brighten or conceal but not really it's not really like you would ever put a darker concealer on your face because that's a bit weird i mean obviously unless you're like contouring and whatnot but anyway so i'm going to use this revolution bake and finish luxury baking powder it looks like this is that focusing on um, this scares me because it's white and it has talc in it which i'm um, pretty sure that is usually the thing that like gives you flashback but anyway i'm just going to take the tiny amount of this just to put under my under eyes I feel like we should do a flashback test it does make them insanely smooth though like that is a very very smoothing powder um, but yeah, unfortunately I just think I mean we'll take a flashback I mean a, a photo to see if we have any flashback oh my god am I pressing it? Goodbye, everybody. It's hard to tell. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's not too bad, actually. Like, it doesn't look like it does. But I used a very minimal amount, so maybe that's just the way to go with this. Like, don't put too much on, otherwise you may have to deal with the flashback. Which is not good. We all hate flashback, I think, anyway. Oh my god, I just realised that I had these... Makeup Revolution pigments to use. I forgot to use them. Whoopsies. Anyway. Alright, so to set the rest of my face, I have this matte base powder in P4. Um, so this is just like a pressed powder, and I've never tried this one before. And this looks like it'll darken up my skin nicely, like make me a little bit more, like bring a little bit of colour back to my skin. That's how it looks. Um, because obviously, using such a pale foundation I kind of want a little bit of color back so yeah I've never tried these ones before I think they're only new as well I feel like it's yeah I think it's bringing a little bit of color back which is good that's what we like I feel like I can't see properly now because um, of that flash test like you know obviously putting the flash in my eyes but anyway I actually quite like this powder like I feel like it's made my face look very nice and you know it's brought a little bit of coverage to my face yeah I think it actually looks quite pretty it's very soft yeah wow okay I really like that so this is the matte base powder so yeah actually I really quite like that I don't know if I said mine's in the shade P4 so I didn't realize but the reason that they have F C and P so this is like foundation 6.5 this was like concealer five like c5 f 5.6 and then this one's p4 for like powder floor i think anyway unless that's just a huge coincidence but like surely not anyway now it's time for us to i do have this um joy face sculpt which is like obviously like a contour powder um but i just don't really contour anymore but should i try i might do it today just for the sake of actually trying this out this one doesn't have a shade which is leading me to believe there's only one of these which is weird because obviously like contour is not universal really um which is a bit odd so this is how it looks i mean i guess it does come with a lighter shade to mix in but like this isn't going to work on like a deep skin tone so i don't get that but anyway so yeah it's just called joy face sculpt contour powder yeah, as far as I can see, no shade or anything, so I'm thinking this is there's only one, which is a little bit disappointing. But anyway, I have not contoured in a hot minute, like a very, very long time. I feel like this is a little bit warm. Like it kind of looks like I've just smeared bronzer down my face. Wow, I forgot how much of a difference contouring makes. I've really liked the no contour look lately, like I've really just been enjoying bronzing, but yeah, like I said, just for the sake of the video, I kind of just wanted to try this out. I mean, it performs fine, like it's, it's contouring, which is good. As I said, I feel like it's a little bit warm, but it still is doing the job, so that's fine. 
Okay, I just have forgot like how to contour. I've like brought it way down, down way too far. I might have to bake that actually because that's looking ridiculous right now. Ridiculous, this side looks nice. Okay, let me just use that bake and finish powder. To like bake that a little bit. Because that's not looking very, very good. My little beauty sponge isn't going to fit in here, so I'm just going to use a brush. We didn't have flashback before, I think we're definitely gonna have flashback now. Okay, so I just let that sit there for a few minutes while we bronze. For bronzer today, I'm trying out this new one called Mega Bronzer 02 Warm. So this is the shade here, it looks quite nice. Um, so yeah, we'll try it out. Um, I do actually have another bronzer by Makeup Revolution that I really like, but I just wanted to try this like one, but because I haven't tried this before, I can already tell this is gonna be pigmented <laughs> okay very pigmented this is very orange <laughs> oh no okay i feel like i don't need it anymore like i don't need to go back into the pan again so this is a super super orange printer but i actually kind of like the color like i mean obviously it's quite orange but i feel like it looks nice kind of Oh no! Okay, I've gone ham. I've gone way too much with this bronzer. I feel like once you place it down, it is not like budging. Like, you know, usually you place it down and you can spread it around your head and stuff. But I feel like, you know, that I place it down there and it's kind of like just staying there. Like, it doesn't want to be distributed. So I know it's quite orange, but I actually kind of like it. Like, I feel like it looks very nice. I feel like it is a very healthy colour. It makes me look cool quite healthy. Okay, let me just wipe this bake off now. Goodbye, everybody. See, I swear bake just doesn't come off on me. Like, once it's there, it's like, not going anywhere. I'm looking beat today. I'm looking fully, like, beat. But I'm actually kind of liking it. Not gonna lie. Anyway, now that we've bronzed, I'm gonna go in with this Makeup Revolution blush palette. And this one is in the shade hot spice and this is a really really pretty palette did i look funny there i can't hello i can't tell if it's making me look funny or not um this shade looks beautiful and i feel like it's for someone with a little bit of a darker skin tone but i'm gonna try it today i'm gonna take the tiniest bit it's a very orangey shade and it has like gold shimmer through it but oh my god it's beautiful love it Wow, that's super pretty. Oh, I love that shade. They don't have individual shade names, by the way. That's like honestly stunning. Okay, I just need another brush to kind of like blend that in. I'm just gonna take this big one and blend everything together. Yeah, I'm really, really liking the way my face is looking today. It's obviously like pretty full on, but I kind of living for it. Today I'm going to take my Makeup Revolution Ultra Pro Glow Palette. I love this palette so much. It's so beautiful. Um, and, oh, what shade? I think I'm going to take this shade here. This is, like, one of the most beautiful palettes. Oh, my God, look at it. Look at it. This is so cheap as well. I mean, everything by Makeup Revolution is super affordable. It's just a really great brand love this oh that's absolutely stunning i'm super scared for the next product um this is the prime set and glow but honestly this looked like it left huge chunks over my hand when i chested it out but anyway we're going to try it today um so this is the glow revolution prime set glow illuminating face and body spray and this one is in eternal gold i think looks like that so i'm just gonna take a tiny bit Looking okay so far. It smells so good. What the hell? Oh, okay. It's leaving little shimmers, but it's not bad. This is such a nice pump. Oh my god. I actually really like that. It leaves tiny little glitters all over your face. So if you're not into that, that's fine. But you can't see them from far away. You can only see them when you look 
like super super close but I really like that that smells amazing and it's such a fine mist it's so pretty okay I'm gonna go oh I still need to do lips I'm just gonna get a lip color okay so chosen the lipstick now this is the makeup revolution matte liquid lipstick and I don't know how to say it. it's like echelon or something I really don't know but anyway this is the shade here it is so so pretty focusing I really don't think that's focusing but anyway I'm about to put it on my lips so you can see it then oh I'm so excited I really like these videos because it kind of forces you to use makeup that you normally wouldn't like use why am I focused here but not back here right anyway um and then yeah you can discover like oh okay. my lips are so dry right now because um i'm sick okay i really really like this shade that is such a pretty lip color all right let me go off camera and do my hair and then i will be back okay this is the finished look. I am in love. I feel like my makeup just looks so nice there. My eye is still so sore. I think it's just because like I've got the concealer in it and I've just been mucking around trying to get it out. So I just need to leave it and let it go. But I love my makeup today. I feel like it looks so, so nice. I'm so, so happy with the way it turned out. So let's have a little quick rundown. The brow pomade, pomade, <laughs> the very pom brow pomade. I just do not like this product. I find it way too dry, way too cracky. I just cannot deal with this. I just would much rather try the brow products that I know work. Um, a cheap alternative to the Anastasia Dip Brow is the Chi Chi Brow Pomade. The Colourpop Brow Pomade, they both work amazing. So I hope that those of you who do have this product like it. But yeah, I just do not like it. I just can't even can't even deal with that um i really like the eye primer i feel like it um gripped onto the shadows really nicely it, they obviously um helped with the pigment like well i mean shadow is pretty pigmented in itself but like it obviously didn't take away any of that pigment and made it super easy to blend it felt kind of like a balmy texture like it was hard to explain like you could tell that it was definitely grabbing on but i wasn't grabbing on where it was so hard to move your brush around it kind of helped with the brush like it was smooth and but tacky so it was kind of like a balm kind of like i don't know but i really did like the eye primer love the eyeshadow palette i've used it a few times now i think it's amazing i really like the eye look i think it's pretty i mean it's something quite simple but it's still very pretty um i really don't like the eyeliner um i'll have to see if they have another one like a brush tip or something i just like i already kind of don't like felt tips as it is because i feel like they're a little bit hard to use but that one was just very I just was not having it um as opposed to the tart one like you can see the tart one is a felt tip and it worked perfectly so there definitely is potential for felt tips to work well but that one just was not having it I just not I do not like that I really like the mascara as I said it reminds me a lot of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara um formula wise and wand wise I feel like the ones are very um similar and I feel like consistency and formula of the product is very similar too so yeah i really like that um mascara and it's obviously a lot cheaper than the Too Faced one i really liked the primer i really like a hydrating primer and i feel like it like obviously it didn't affect anything on top of it like it just made my skin feel very nice very hydrated and refreshed and i feel like overall my skin just looks amazing i really like the foundation as i said i have a full like separate review on that so if you wanted a bit more in depth talking about that you can go watch that video i still don't know if i'd call it full coverage but as i said you know sometimes i feel like it's hard for full coverage foundations to be full coverage in light shades i don't know but anyway it's a beautiful foundation beautiful finish um i feel like i would like to get a shade or so darker but even now like with everything on top of it like it doesn't look too light it's just when you first put it on it kind of looks like oh my god what the hell <laughs> um i really like the concealer um i feel like it is got a really nice coverage and um blends really nice i just need to get a different shade because <laughs> i do not know how i mucked that up so badly but anyway i really like the bacon finish powder like my under eyes are so so smooth um, you can see obviously I used it here as well. I don't know how it would go for flashback So I mean I did try and test it and I couldn't see any but that's not saying it wouldn't have any um, You know often white powders are quite risky because 
yeah, it's just kind of bound to happen. So yeah, that is something you would probably have to test it on your own skin and see if it would work. But yeah, for me, I didn't really notice any flashbacks, so that's good. What else do we have around here? Oh, I really, really liked the matte base powder. I feel like it made my skin look really nice. It added a good bit of coverage and a nice color. Really liked the contour, but as I said, it's weird that it only comes in the one shade. I mean, don't quote me on that, I'm not sure, but like, usually if there are a few products that have different shades, I mean, yeah, that have a different shades, they'll have shade names, but I didn't notice any shade name on that, so. Don't know what the go is there. They might have other options, I hope. But anyway, um, I really liked the bronzer, I love the blush, love the highlight. The blush and the highlight palette are ones that I've used quite regularly. The bronzer was new, but I really did like it. And as I said, it's a little bit orange, but I feel like it is a healthy kind of orange. Like, it just looks like my skin is very, very healthy. The setting spray, I actually surprisingly liked that. Um, In my whole video, if you watched it, I was a bit, like, iffy because I was like, oh my god, this looks like it's gonna, like, ruin my face. But you can only really see, like, the glitter up really close up and then far away. It just looks very, like like I don't know you just your skin looks very very nice um and it has an amazing smell I really like the mister on it as well because it's not like full and chunky like some some can be um it's very like fine and misty um so yeah I really like that and last but not least is this lip color I think the matte lip is beautiful let's do a kiss test uh no so nothing came off there um this is a sore and uh, oh hang on or is that I can't tell because this was from last night and it won't come off. Let me do it somewhere else. Oh, okay, so one little line, I think. Oh no, I don't know. I don't think. I think it's transfer proof. I tell. It, it seems pretty transfer proof. Proof. It's very comfortable. It's obviously matte, but it's not like super stuck down Sahara Desert matte. Like I think it's a really nice matte. So yeah, that was everything. I think I don't think I've missed anything. Hope not. Anyway. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye!